Hi, my name is Daniel Cunningham. I'm founder and CEO of Leonardo 24-7. Today, we're talking about a favorite subject of mine, risk mitigation. Risk in operating real estate comes in a lot of different forms. Uh, I think most people think of risk, they think of legal risk, they think of liability risk. So you have people that um, trip and fall on your property, you have somebody who gets into a pool because the gate isn't locked and something bad happens, that's, that's liability risk. Uh, but there's also property risk. Property risk surrounds, um, you know, if uh, you have water that's pooling on a roof or you have holes in a roof, right, that you're putting the property at risk or uh, the ground has been built up in such a way that it's pooling water towards the foundation instead of shedding it away from the foundation. Um, you have bricks that need tuck pointing. Uh, there's, so there's property risk that comes if these things aren't addressed, you, you, can, you have increased costs of maintaining the property. There's also legal risk. There are municipal codes, there are city, state, county, federal codes that you need to follow in operating properties. Many people have no idea what those are, what they say, and, um, and some of them are significant. You can not only have fines, they can count as misdemeanors, um, they can count as criminal negligence if they're not followed and people can end up in jail. So there's legal risk and being up to date on what the municipal codes have to say about how you operate your property is important. Uh, and you have reputational risk. If you continually uh, fail to maintain the property properly, if you fail to keep residents and tenants happy because you're not doing all the other things that are important in property operations, you have reputational risk. You will lose business. You will not win new business if you're, if you're a third-party management company going out to win new business because people are saying bad things about you because you're not doing well. So there's a number of, of areas of, of risk in operating, in operating property. There's, there's even operational risk. If you're not doing the things you need to be doing, for example, if you're not leasing on time, if you're not marketing your vacant units, if you're not updating your website, if your phone number is wrong, if you're not going out and, um, and you're not adjusting rents on a timely fashion, you have, op you have operational risk that affects also even your top line. One of the reasons we invented Leonardo 24-7 was because we recognized that these areas of risk are not managed by property management systems. Those are accounting platforms. They're not platforms intended to tell you how you should be actually operating the property. Um, how, what are all of those things you need to be doing when you're not receiving a check or you're not leasing a property or you're not responding to a work order? Those things all have to do with reducing operational um, real estate operations risk. And the magic behind Leonardo 24-7 is you can take a step back and create a risk management plan that in today's model probably goes on a shelf and nobody pays attention to it but with Leonardo 24-7, you can bring that to life. So those, those tasks that help reduce risk in all these different ways can be scheduled throughout the year, and they can be scheduled to go to the right person at the right time with uh, the right form or inspection that needs to go along with that. And that allows you to, over the course of a year, make sure you're doing all of the proactive measures that you need to be doing to reduce risk. And the net of that is lower operating costs, fewer lawsuits, fewer missed opportunities to increase revenue through things like marketing and, and raising rents and you know sending people to collections on time if they need to be sent to collections. And all of that results um, in a higher NOI, which is the goal. So risk mitigation is probably one of the most poorly understood and executed uh, aspects of property management. The state of the art right now, typically, when we get involved with a client is we find if, if there's a risk mitigation plan at all, it typically exists in some binder that is sitting on a shelf in some office that nobody is opening and reading. Maybe, maybe the plan has been put online someplace where you get access to it, but nobody is, is going and downloading that and reading it. The challenge with a risk mitigation plan is typically the things that are in that plan are not top of mind. They don't uh, drive revenue. They don't answer complaints from, from residents. They don't increase uh, your occupancy, but they stop the bleeding on the back end of operating a property. Um, they are critical for maximizing NOI and, and minimizing um, 
you know, operational risk that in the extreme can result in a complete loss of ownership of the property. If you have a fire at a property and you haven't done your proper fire inspections and you have um, people that die at that property, like you are not covered by your insurance. If you're unable to demonstrate that you've done the things you need to do to mitigate that fire risk, you can lose your coverage and uh, that eventually means loss of the property and lawsuits that, you're, that you are uncovered for. So, so in the extreme, these things can be very, very serious. And so the way we address that challenge is rather than the, some, this item, that this binder that sits on a shelf or rather than a folder on a, on, a, on a shared drive someplace that you're supposed to review, we bring those things to life. So first of all, we take each one of those procedures and we create a template around those. And that template knows, okay, this is a procedure that if I have a certain piece of equipment or certain amenity, or I'm located in a certain part of the country, or I'm subject to hurricanes, or I'm subject to floods, if any of those things are true, then I need to raise my hand and trigger a task. So we create that template, first of all. Then um, we make sure that, that the latest policy and procedure is attached to that, to that template so that when that template triggers a task, we're providing the person on the other end who's supposed to execute with the form or the procedure or the inspection that is the latest and greatest one that's approved by that, by that operator. So keeping the most current operational policies and procedures in front of your operators is something we can do through these templates. So we're going to codify everything that, that, that needs to be done in a, in a way that brings it to life and then make sure you have the latest and greatest information when that, do, when that task does get triggered for you on site. And then the third thing we're doing, which is really key to all of this, is we're providing visibility to the owners, investors of that property that they're actually being done. And that's really important because that shines a light on those areas that often just go unnoticed. If they're not done, nobody notices until it's too late, until you have a problem, until you have a lawsuit, uh, until you um, have hurricane damage that you weren't prepared for. Um, we avoid all of that by, by providing real-time visibility into whether or not your risk management policies and procedures are being followed by the folks in the field. And if they're not, we'll raise our hand bring it to your attention. And now you can get involved and retrain or update procedures um, before you have a problem. Sometimes we like to say that, that, that our risk management procedures prevent problems before they happen. And while it's sometimes hard to pin an ROI on preventing problems, um, it is key to, um, to maximizing NOI, that's for sure. If you don't have a system like Lean Hour 24-7 in place, if you don't have a way to consistently um, give correct guidance to your teams in the field, to have accountability for when those things are being um, completed or not completed, if you don't have a way to make sure they're using the latest and greatest policies, procedures, inspections, and forms, then what you're forced to do is constantly ask them. Did you do this? Did you do this? Did you do this? You're texting them, you're calling them, you're emailing them, you're traveling to the site and spending time talking about it. And that's incredibly inefficient. If you have Lean Auto 24 seven in place, you, you, you remove from the conversation this need to constantly ask about the minutia. I mean, it's important stuff, but you want to be talking about how to drive revenue. You want to be talking about occupancy. You want to be talking about raising rents. Um, if you let us worry about the minutia, if you let us worry about these things that are important, but maybe not as urgent, then that frees up your people to talk about the things that, are, that really help drive the top line of your business. And we'll, we'll let you know. We'll raise our hand when we see that you've got a problem on, you know, on, the, uh, on the facility side. We'll let you know that certain inspections aren't being done. We'll let you know if data that's collected is outside of the range of what's acceptable. If you've got pool pH that's too high, if you have operating temperatures of equipment that are too high, we can raise our hand and let you know. But otherwise, you don't have to be focused on that. And your time will be spent where you want to use your smartest people to be doing their highest and best use of that property, which is marketing, leasing, resident satisfaction, and we give that freedom by taking care of uh, the nitty gritty. This isn't what we lead with. 
when we're talking to potential clients because it's not the fun side of owning and operating properties, but it is the reality of owning and operating real estate in a very real way. People's lives are in your hands. And that goes from things like making sure that fire inspections are completed in a timely fashion, that the follow-up to those inspections are completed if there's deficiencies that are found. It means making sure that equipment is maintained properly so that people aren't injured. It makes sure that it's making sure that the grounds are maintained in such a way that there aren't hazards where people can trip and fall. We have regrettably had clients who've come to us after children drowned in a pool because the pool gate didn't latch or after somebody was crushed in a, in a gate that wasn't maintained properly. Those things have happened and it shouldn't take something like that to bring you to Leonardo 24-7's doorstep, um, but it has been the thing that has, um, has finally moved some operators from risk management being a nice to have to a must have. But I think the industry is really, it's clear the industry is becoming more and more aware, keenly aware of the risks that are involved in operating real estate. And to the extent that we can help prevent problems before they happen by bringing to bear the best practices in risk mitigation. And, and why do we think they're the best practices? Well, number one, we've spent time talking to insurance companies. We work with insurance brokers and carriers to learn from them what their best practices are. We learn from our other clients. We can see what's happening in the industry, what those best practices are. And from all of that, we're able to assemble a library of what represents, I can say confidently, the most comprehensive library of risk mitigation procedures in the industry. And we can lay that at your feet. And as our client, you can choose to implement that or not implement, implement it or, or change it slightly. As our clients, you can choose to, to implement those, those procedures exactly, modify them if you want, Ignore them altogether if you want, um, but, but at least you now have a basis for the best practices in mitigating risk. And uh, when something does happen, because even properties that follow the very best of mitigation procedures, even when something does happen, now you have a demonstrated intent uh, to mitigate that risk. You're not negligent. With, if you lean on a 24-7 in place, you will be able to demonstrate in a way you've never been able to before that you weren't negligent in attempting to mitigate that risk. Bad things will still happen, but bad things happening when nobody was paying attention are infinitely worse than bad things that happened when you did everything you possibly could, that the law is expected, that best practices would, would expect. And when those things happen, Leonardo 24 seven has a way to facilitate instant reports so that you have the ability to very easily alert your corporate office, your insurance broker, that something has happened, capture the data, real time, photos, signatures of witnesses in a format that is approved and expected by you and in your insurance company or your corporate office to make sure that that's consistently done, that data is captured in a consistent way. And that those instant reports, those timely contemporaneous instant reports allow you to take action to address the bad thing that's just happened uh, so that it doesn't become worse. Um, and I think that that alone is one of the things that has driven, I can think of a number of clients to adopt the Leonardo 24 seven solutions to get consistency in handling uh, those incidents when it happens. So this has been Daniel Cunningham from Leonardo 24 seven. Thanks so much for joining us on our talk regarding risk management and risk mitigation.